Have you ever wondered what the biggest problem that you face when you're trying to hold your serve, when you're trying to win your serve? It's probably not your actual serve that's the problem. It's actually the S1. In fact, I would say it is your S1. That's why you're having a problem holding serve. In this video today, that's what we're gonna address. I'm Sterling Strother, and this is The Art of Winning. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the alert notification. Okay, welcome back. So I'm Sterling Strother, this is Pierce Strother, and we are going to work on the slice serve into the ad court, specifically an inside serve, an inside run serve, and then follow it with a forehand. So what we want to do is you want to hunt for forehands on your S1 shot. That is the shot, first shot after the serve. Okay, so here's how we're going to work it today, Pierce. Jump over on the ad court. Okay, we're wor this is a, this is a continuation of our slice serve series, and uh, how to actually take advantage of hitting this awesome slice serve that you've been working really hard on. Okay, so the first thing is you don't want to be too far away, Pierce, but you do want to be far enough away from the center mark so that you can hunt for forehand. So I wouldn't be too close to here, and I wouldn't be too far away, maybe. I'd be right on the edge where C and uh, C box and D box divide. So C box, here's the middle. Here's the middle of the court. Okay, so C box. I'd be on the outside of C blocks. Some people would call this C plus. Okay. All right, so you're going to hit that inside serve or T serve. Okay, you're going to pull the, the return player in the court. So it's an inside run serve as we define it here at the auto winning. And then you're going to reset. We've been working on that reset after the serve. And then you're going to take that forehand into D. Okay? All right, hitting the inside of the ball. 1,001. Excellent, excellent. So uh, if you watch the other slice S plus 1 that we did on the deuce court, we talked about this movement with with uh, the feet so after you come off and you split step you're going to do this you're going to work on this big shuffle step out of the way okay some some people prefer to cross over here do a forward crossover some players do a reverse crossover okay that you can work on all three of those or you can kind of go with what you prefer what i want to do though is in per the purpose of this video is I want to get Pierce to use the shuffle step, the big swinging shuffle so that he stays semi-open to open so he can create enough space that he can hit the inside of the ball and create this side spin. Nice shot. Nice shot. There it is. Side spin so that he can create the ball and make the ball fade. So we're hitting the inside of the ball and making the ball fade into D. Okay, did you like that? Two in the net today. Right off the bat. But I got the third one, three times a charm, right? All right, Pierce, let's go. So inside run, nice, dynamic, smooth, fluid finish. 1001, inside of the ball. There you go, right there. 1000, 1001, there you go. Nice, okay. Okay, so as the second progression, I'm gonna go to the other side. Now, he's gonna hit the inside run. It's gonna stretch me to the inside of the court, okay? Get me in this position. He's gonna reverse me and make me go back into a backhand, all right? And that's what you wanna create. For you, as the server, you want to hunt for forehands as your S1. And what you want to do is you want to pull the court. If you hit the inside slice, pull the player in, and then make them hit an R1 backhand. So if the return is the most missed shot in tennis, the S1 is the second most missed shot in tennis, and the third most missed shot in tennis is the R1. Okay? And you want to make your opponent hit backhand R1s. Okay, because that's the one that you get them really in trouble and increase that probability of winning the point for yourself. So I'm going to move to the other side. That's it. 
Oh yeah, textbook. Oh, open court. Nice. Really good. Really good. Ah. Get around it. Ah. Ah. Oh, there it is right there. Nice. Okay, so as we do this live, you can start to either ask the player to perform certain scenarios. For instance, hey, I'm gonna give you a ball here, be ready for this and take it into this section of the court. So as you saw right there, we had three scenarios show up. The first one was, you hit the inside serve, I gave you the forehand, and I, get, and I hit it to A, which opened up A for you. So you took the forehand cross, and that, that was one scenario. That's it. Oh yeah, textbook, oh, open court, nice. The second scenario was, Pierce, you hit an inside run, I hit a let cord ball, the ball hit the net, it was short. You came forward, hit it into D, and then came forward and hit the backhand volley to the open court. Ah. Uh, Get around it. The third scenario that happened was you hit the inside serve. I hit the return back. You got the S1 forehand back into D. I floated it back into C and you hit the second, you hit the S2 forehand back and reversed me one more time. Oh, there it is right there. Nice. So there's, there's different scenarios here. If you check out artofwinningtennis.com, our membership site, we have all of these patterns we've developed, we've fleshed out. We talk about how do you work, how do you work them, how do you score them to help you be more proficient at this. Pierce does this well on our YouTube channel. He performs these exercises well because he's gone through this for years and years of knowing what two shot patterns are available and then rehearsing all of them. So that's why he kind of makes this look easy and he continues to get better and better and we continue to refine our movement or his movement, not my movement, refine his movement as a player and help him understand what is available to him and what he would like to do better. He would like to hunt for more forehands instead of hitting backhands after a serve. And this is what you want to do. When you hit this awesome slice serve, take advantage of it. Hit a forehand on your S1. Thanks for joining us. If you like videos like this here at The Art of Winning, please subscribe and hit the notification button so you'll get notified on our next live video here on YouTube. Thanks and have a great week.